Hey everyone, it's Nick with Us vs. Herd. If it's your first time here, you like the content, hit subscribe. If you want to get notifications for when we post videos or go live, tap the bell. And if this video is of value to you, hit the like button. I definitely would appreciate it. Also, if you want to join the UVH fam, the links are below to our free options trading group along with our Discord. Um, now, I'm going to be answering a question that is actually very frequent. I get this question a lot from beginner traders, new traders, and I, I didn't really think that I would be getting this question, but so I figured because I get it so much, I'll do a video on it. And the question is, can I exit options trade before it expires? And most people would say, yes, uh, that's common sense, but options trading is a little bit confusing. Um, the, 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 the short answer is, so you don't have to watch the rest of the video if you don't want to, is yes, you can exit an options trade anytime you want, as long as there is a buyer. And what I mean by that is sometimes beginner options traders, they they get into trades that there may not be buyers. Um, they're trading low volume options. You know, they're trading options on penny stocks that may not have any buyers. And I, I see it a lot, people send me screenshots. You know, I've, I've seen a lot of things since starting this channel. And let's look at SPY, just look at the options chain here. And what I mean, what am I, what I mean by like buyers and sellers is that, we'll, we'll just take a look at the uh, put side here, is as you can see here, there is a bid and there is an ask. And if there's a bid, that means there are buyers. If the bid is zero for the strikes that you're, that you're that you have, then there are no buyers. Nobody wants to buy your contract. Nobody wants to buy your options. So, you know, what I say is when I'm looking, when I'm looking for options, I'm usually looking at options that are over 500 volume. Um, you can check out the volume here. They also show volume on Robinhood, Tastyworks, you know, you, on, on Robinhood, you actually have to like click on, click on the strike and then get the volume, the, the volume on it. But, you know, it it is there. But I, what I would say is, is do your research. You don't want to go into a trade that you can't exit. And it's not because you, you're not allowed to, it's just because there's no buyers. So I think that's where people kind of get mixed up is when they're trading low volume or illiquid options. You know, if you're trading SPY, it's very liquid. I mean, look at this, you know, 42,000 on the puts here, uh, 11,000 volume on this strike here, another 14,000. And then the bid and the ask is rather tight. So if you're, if you're day trading, you know, you obviously want a, a tight bid and ask spread here if you're not day trading you know some people some people hear about certain companies and maybe down the line they believe in this company it's like a penny stock and they think oh this in 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 a year from now this is going to be you know x amount of dollars so i'm gonna buy i'm gonna buy like a call far out of the money which also decreases your chance of a winning trade when you're when you're that far out i mean sure you could hit sure you could be rich but most likely it's not going to hit nobody's going to want to buy it and the other thing is people get confused on is is in, especially in Robinhood, it takes the price um it doesn't always give you give you an accurate of what what you're up or what you're down if the options are illiquid and what i mean by that let, let's look at this like 290 this 290 um put here on on spy and for instance on Robinhood, let's say the bid was zero but the ask was two dollars it may it, it'll then say if the ask is two dollars and the bid is zero it's going to give you the mid price of one dollar even though the bid is zero and people go to try to sell it like oh robin hood says i'm up i'm up on this trade i'm gonna go try to sell it and then you can't sell it because you're actually there's no buyers so you know it it pays to do your research pays to do your your due diligence but also you need as an options trader as a beginning options trader you need to trade liquid options but options that have volumes options that have both buyers and sellers i mean obviously if if you're you're the only one buying it somebody else is just offloading the crap to you or it's just market maker or whatever the case is um but i just wanted to answer that question for you guys if you have any other questions regarding options trader and you're a beginner leave a comment below if this video was of value to you hit the like button definitely appreciate it stay safe stay green it's always us versus herd